Welcome back, everybody, to Ultimate CNFT. Mr. Ultimate here, aka Mike. We're going to be talking about Boss Dow and all the updates that are coming out. These guys are minting tomorrow, you guys. This is very exciting. So uh, I've been wanting to make this video to catch you up before mints because the first time I was just uh, barely within a few hours. This time I want to get at least a good day or a half a day ahead. Now there's some minting details we've got to go over with, but there's also so much going on with this project, you guys, that I couldn't even cover it in one video. So for the first time, I'm actually took a few notes and I'll be reading off that here in a few minutes. We're going to jump in and discover all the information that's relevant right now because timing is everything and we need to know what's going on. But first of all, I'd like to touch on the fact that Boss Dow uh, has, they, I mean, they're really stepping up their game here. I must admit, after really pouring into all the stuff that's going on lately, uh, wow. So now we got Boss Dow Legacy Collection. So we're gonna go over the information about why that happened and how that affects the people who are holding. It's all very beneficial, but if you can see real quick before we jump into their Discord and go over the, the most relevant information, um, you can see what's going on here. They've, they've got the 4,092 that were minted from the original mint. Uh, there's 1,399 owners. The floor price, you guys, the floor price is starting to rise. People are realizing that when you hold these OGs, which are now called Boss Dow Legacy, you're gonna get a free airdrop of the new one. So that's kind of a big deal. It's actually a, a huge deal. Uh, so the floor price, again, just inching right underneath the 200 ADA floor. As far as I know, from every time I peeked in on this project, they've never gone underneath the original mint price of their original release. So that actually does say a lot. Uh, you know, this the NFT space is wild. Things go up, things go down. People come in, people come out. But to never go below mint is actually a really a, a huge testament to all of the work that they're putting in. I can't wait to show you the wallet, the collections, the things that they're doing, you guys. Let's jump into the activity. You can see there's been a lot of buying in the last couple hours alone. Uh, this floor price is continuing to tick up. And you can see people that are smart have been getting some good deals. And uh, I think there's going to be a lot more buying leading up to the uh, to the mint here. So that's exciting. Let's go ahead and jump in here with me, you guys, to the Discord. And we'll start with the port and stuff. So Boss Dow Mint, April 27th, 1 p.m. UTC through May 1st, 7 a.m. UTC. So... Again, we're starting here real soon, you guys, and there's a couple days left to mint. Now, keep in mind, there's only going to be selling a thousand of these. So there's only a thousand of these up for grabs. The rest are being airdropped to the legacy holders. Very, very important. The mint cost for the holders is 160 ADA. So we get a discount for holding those um, OGs, which is great. The Obviously, the cost has gone up a little bit to 175 ADA for the people who do not have any of the legacies, and there is no whitelist. Uh, necessary. So that's actually really cool here. Um, real quick, just so you know, max NFTs per transaction are 10. That's per transaction. I think you can continue to make transactions until all 1,000 are minted. They gave an example of uh, people who minted 100 NFTs at a time. This will not limit the number of NFTs you can buy, rather just the amount you can receive in one transaction. So if you are aping into this project, you can get 10 at a time. And if you got quick triggers, maybe you can get there before this sells out. I imagine this is going to go pretty quickly. So uh, I really can't see them uh, lasting till May 1st, if you ask me personally. But let's go jump in to... Basically, well, you know, I, I want to show you the wallet, but before I do that, let's get into the most recent and relevant announcements because there are so many to go over, but these are the ones that are the most important right now. Um, so, look, read these things for yourself. I can't read the whole thing, but basically I do want to come over uh, this to, to confirm what I've said. Each boss DAO you currently own or purchase and hold from secondary market before Mint ends May 1st. That's important. Make sure you read that language and understand it. We'll receive one free airdrop of our upcoming mint. And I'll tell you what, the new ones are looking super sick. This new Boss Dow NFT, your airdrop, will replace your original NFTs and uh, vote and profit share. Your original Boss Dow NFTs will be renamed Boss Dow Legacy, which I've already done and showed you that. And complement your membership in Boss Dow with a new utility such as OG loyalty tokens. These guys are doing a lot of stuff at the same time. That's a lot of work, you guys. I don't think a lot of people understand how much work you got to put into this kind of stuff. 
but I do. <laughs> uh, extra exec dividends, it talks about that. Unique boss pioneer proof, uh, larger delegation reward and boss stake pool, automated white, this is cool, automatic whitelist for all boss DAO launch pad mints. We know their launch pad is gonna be huge. They're gonna be requiring massive documentation of people who are on the launch pad. They're gonna be helping projects get off the floor and get out there into the CNFT space. Uh, we get to participate in that for for as as getting whitelisted these projects as being a part of this. Just one of the perks of being a part of a boss DAO. You know what I mean? So it's pretty cool. Make sure you get the free airdrop of our next mint delist from Marketplace, so your boss DAO is back in your wallet. So if you're holding those and if you're trying to sell them or whatever. Delist them so you can qualify. You're gonna get a free airdrop. You can't really ask much more than that. Really cool, you guys. Um, look again, another example of very uh, forward thinking. Uh, talking about the lazy llamas here. They got lazy llamas are doing Vox with BCRC. You know, so many people are are um, joining the BCRC fam, doing their Vox drops because that metaverse is gonna be absolutely huge. Um, we all love to see that because we're all super stoked on what's going on with that. Uh, they have a lot of work to do, they're saying, to get ready for the llamas uh, to be in the metaverse. So uh, if you need more information on that, you can always go into the Lazy Llamas project as well. Check them out, see what's going on. Uh, listen, information is everything in this business and so is timing. So read and do your own research along the way, all the time, every time. Uh, we got a little message here from uh, from Blue Magic. They've got 63 Vox cats, you guys, from all their assets in BCRC. So they just basically stacked 63 Voxes and added them to their collection, and which means the treasury uh, value has gone up a pretty insane amount depending on what they've got and everything. That's always fun to look at. People love to go in there and jump around and check things out. So um, here we go. There it is right there. Nine jet packs, 54 normal Vox cats, and of course those other Vox cats have variations and rarity and all that cool stuff. Uh, I know I've gotten a couple of my Vox, I'm still waiting for several more, so I'm excited to look at that. But yeah, you know they go over the numbers here it, at the current uh, floor price of 600 ADA. We've gained at least 37,000 in ADA and NFT value. Of course, that's all part of the uh, the project here. So uh, so much going on, you guys. It's so excited to see people doing good things and moving forward. So if you want to, real quick, before before, or should I say, if I want to real quick, before we go and check out that address with all the cool stuff in it, I do want to show you if I can find it, forgive me real quick, where, where are you? <laughs> uh, hmm. Come on, sneak peeks, there we go. See, it's, and when it's hidden in gray, sometimes I can't see it. I stare at a computer screen way too long all the time. So. I just wanted to show you this real quick before we get to the best part. Look at the upgrade in art. Look at the look look at the cool things that they are doing. That's just one example. They've been releasing these little fuzzy sneak peeks. They've been having people go to their uh, Twitter to get these things unlocked and all that stuff, which is great marketing. It's great engagement. I love to see it. There's another sick looking guy right there. Uh, I mean, they really did step up the art, you guys. Uh, most most DAOs are not really known for their art, so to be able to integrate that and to to kind of every take things to the next step every chance you get is super cool. So. Uh, wow, look at this guy, man. He's he's chilling. He's got a, got a cat with a record on him. There's some pretty creative stuff going on here. So, you know, I've rambled on long enough about that, but I love I, I love art. That's why, you know, really the NFTs is where it starts. It starts with the art for the most part. There's some projects that just don't even care about the art, but, you know, there's there's a wide range of things we can do here in the NFT space, the CNFT space in particular. Things are about to heat up, you guys. April's ending with a bang, and uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. So keep your eyes on this space as we grow and as Cardano continues to crush it and rise up the ranks. Oh, yeah, because the cream, it always rises to the top. Yeah. So, should we check out that treasury wallet? I think we should. I think we're gonna go over here, and then I think we're gonna go right here, because it's already there. Yes, check it out. This treasury wallet is always growing, you guys. It's constantly moving forward. They've got 448 NFTs in this wallet. You can see they've got a bunch of ADA in there too, and a lot more that's coming from this new mint is gonna obviously be put back into the project. So uh, just wanna scroll down here with you real quick. They've got some ghost chains. They're working very closely uh, with ghost chains and, and all the stuff that they've got going on as well. That's a whole separate video that I'll hopefully have the time to make here one of these days soon, as soon as we get things cracking, what I need to be, where I need them to be. And uh, yeah, we got some District Fives, man. We got some Ada Ape Society. I mean, it's so fun taking your time to pour over this. They've got the Yeti Snowmobiles. You know, on that real quick, so let me go to one of my notes here because 
This is important. Um, upcoming development stake pool, 25% mint proceeds going back to the member treasury as ADA for proof of participation and boss swap for the Smooth Yeti Mountain Club uh, and uh, with, with, their, with their snowmobiles and the BCRC rocket parts. They're also helping people with their land create estates. So uh, go ahead and take your time and go check out that uh, member treasury, uh, all the proof of that and all the things that are going on with boss swap because not only they have that launch pad, they got the swap. I mean, they're really, this is a very uh, community focused um, the project by helping people do the things that are so difficult to do. Anyone who's tried to build those estates, you know how difficult that is, and uh, you know it's pretty cool. So let's just go in here and let's let's, let's type in let's type in boss. Let's just see what happens if I type in boss. Uh, you start to see all kinds of really cool assets as they we all know that these guys are BC BC uh, RC first. As a matter of fact, their focus is on BC RC. You guys, back to my notes. Fifty percent of the proceeds goes to buying assets in BCRC. Uh, I know I've spoken to Professor Dum Dum. He, he's really trying to uh, get a hold of getting, you know, in, in a tribute to all the traits that they have for these boss cats. They're trying to add new stuff to their wallet that maybe they don't have, like cool hats or whatever it is that they've got their eyes on. So they, they are focused on BCRC first, obviously, boss Dow. Uh, but they're they're moving beyond, and, and well, they've already moved beyond, but they're really covering, you know, the CNFT space as a whole. So I love to see that. You guys know that I'm a champion, oh yeah, of the CNFT space. I love to see what's good for us. I love to see us grow. And uh, anybody that's helping the space grow, um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm glad for that because I'm in the same boat you are, you know, as a content creator and a project owner myself and a collector. I like to collect NFTs. That's why I'm in this business, see NFTs all the way to the top. So anything else I need to go over? Uh, it is actually the fastest growing DAO. They've got six figures in the member treasury. Uh, there's so much more to go over here, you guys, but for the sake of this video and sake of time, uh, go in here yourself. If you like to do these kinds of things, if you like to kind of peek in on what's going on and you start to see just all of these assets, look, their Vox cats are starting to drop already. They've got all kinds of cool rockets and uh, they got some super rare pugs. So, uh, pugs, excuse me. <laughs> I got pugs on my mind. I got so much going on with the space pugs right now. It's been crazy. Uh, Vox cats, excuse me. Cats. <laughs> cats and pugs and cats and pugs and pugs and cats. And... All right, sorry, I digress. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, so, you know, let's go back one more time and take a look at this. It's just looking cool. Floors continuing to rise, you guys. The items that are uh, up for list, I have no idea how many are actually up there, but I think most people are, are understanding that you want to delist these so that you can get a free uh, NFT drop for this amazing DAO. So listen, I got to go. I got a lot of work to do today. Mr. Ultimate is out. Peace.